sexual starvation in your relationship. This is Bedroom Talk with Dr. Don Michael, coming to you from my bedroom to yours. What is sexual starvation? Well, I mean, you could say it's sexless being in a sexless relationship, but the reality is it's a little bit different. Uh, sexual starvation, it can mean that you're still having sex or engaging in sexual activity, but you feel starved. You do not feel fulfilled, and you're not happy with what's going on sexually in your relationship. This could be that you're not having an orgasm, or perhaps you're not able to give your partner an orgasm. Or it could mean that you have some sexual fantasies or things that you want to try and your partner rejects you or tells you that they're not interested. Or perhaps you're too afraid to talk about it. This could be uh, sexual starvation because you're experiencing discomfort in sex. Or perhaps you're not able to connect with your partner emotionally. There's many reasons why a person may feel sexually starved in their relationship and still be having sex. So how do you go about fixing this sexual starvation? And this is a very real topic. There's many people out there who can't quite put their finger on it because they're still being sexually active, but they just don't feel fulfilled. So one of the ways to go about it is to sit down and write on a piece of paper some of the things that you feel would make you fulfilled with your sex life. Perhaps it could be that the two of you have never tried oral sex and it's something that you want to try but your partner doesn't. Or perhaps you have a fantasy that you want to share or you're getting bored with the sexual position and you want to change it up. Maybe you're not able to give your partner an orgasm or you're not having orgasms. Perhaps you're angry at your partner and sex has become something that you're just doing because you feel you have to do it, but you're not really enjoying it. I mean, there's so many different reasons for feeling this sexual starvation, but all of them are unhealthy. None of them are promoting a deep, intimate relationship, and, event and eventually uh, the straw will break and something will happen in your relationship. So it's best to work on it before the inevitable happens, and you can't work on it. And that could be resentment. It could be that you end up cheating or simply that the relationship dissolves. So one way to do this is to sit with your partner and get out a pencil and a piece of paper and write down some things that would make you feel sexually fulfilled in the relationship. When you're done with that, exchange papers. Circle the things that are the same. Hopefully there's some on there. Uh, put a check next to the ones you're willing to try or compromise and underline or cross out the ones that are just absolutely non-negotiable. And then see if the two of you can come up with some type of compromise where you're feeling sexually fulfilled in the relationship. One of the most important things is to be honest. If you're not honest about some of the things that you're wanting to try or do that will make you feel less sexually starved, then you're never going to feel fulfilled. You have to really be able to be upfront and open with your partner. And sometimes this is very difficult. But one thing is for sure. Being in a relationship, and especially a long-term relationship where you feel sexually starved to the point where it's becoming a sexless relationship, it's not healthy. And it's not something that is going to maintain a good, robust, long-term, fulfilling relationship. So if you have any comments, please leave them after the video. Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel. I believe everyone deserves to have a healthy sex life and so do you.